What's up guys, it's Dominic Canlas and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is actually my first video here on YouTube, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, basically, this channel will be dedicated to fashion, menswear, and streetwear. I will be showcasing designer to different avant-garde brands. So you can expect me to talk about from basic to archival pieces from brands like RAF, Helmet, Isimiyaki, and a lot more. Of course, I will be doing a lot of styling, pickups, and just the whole package. So for my first video, I actually want to talk about Omplice, and later on, I'll show you guys how I would personally style them. But before everything else, I just want to give a quick background on the brand. Omplice is actually a diffusion line of the legendary Issey Miyake, which uses his pleated techniques on a range of garments. So they have shirts, they have outerwear, they have pants, basically everything. We also have Pleats Please, which is actually the woman counterpart of uh, On Plisse. And the difference basically is Pleats Please has smaller pleats compared to the men's, which is much more bigger and, you know, recognizable. One of the nice things about On Plisse is that it has such an ease structure. So I actually find myself wearing a lot of Issey Miyake pieces and it's just very practical to use and it just suits my style. Before we go to the styling, here are close-ups of the trousers. I have two pairs, one in black and one in brown which you will see in a bit. I actually bought these when I was in Japan and surprisingly they are not that expensive. They retail for around 20,000 yen which is roughly around 10,000 pesos. I was actually very lucky because they still had my size and believe it or not, these sell out very quickly. So if you do plan on getting one in Japan, do not expect them to have pairs available in your size. So now let's talk about sizing. These are actually the tapered ones, which means this model fits more on the slimmer side. And since I like my trousers to fit wider, I got the size 3. I'm actually 5'8", and the size 2 was perfect in length. But again, it was a bit too slim for me. And the size 3 fits nice and wide, but a bit long, which honestly I can manage since I like wearing my trousers high-waisted. Regardless of which size you get, having the waist to fit you won't really be a problem since it's garterized. The main thing that changes with the sizes is the length and the width. For the first outfit, I am wearing a white shirt with this beautiful archival Issey Miyake linen jacket. And for my shoes, I am wearing a classic pair of Common Projects Achilles Low. I really like the proportions of this outfit and I think the color of the jacket really elevates it without being too loud. For this one, I just went for a classic all black outfit. I'm wearing this Issey Miyake long sleeve shirt tucked in and for my boots, I'm wearing this beautiful Hemeltlang Cuban heel boots. For this outfit, I kept it fairly simple and casual. I'm wearing this Uniqlo engineered garments polo shirt with my Nike Sakai blazers. One of the best footwear to pair on plisse trousers with are definitely high top sneakers. For this one, I'm wearing a black tank top with this vintage trucker jacket. For my footwear, I'm wearing these Autumn Winter 09 Raf Simmons Doc Martens 8i boots. For this one, I wanted to go for something oversized and cozy. I'm wearing a Uniqlo crew neck with my Margiela Converse painted 70s. I really like how the crew neck fits with the trousers, and I think you can never go wrong with this kind of color palette. For this one, I went with a full en plisse outfit. I paired my brown trousers with my en plisse blazer. For my footwear, I'm wearing a classic pair of SLP boots. This outfit just shows how versatile on plisse is. You can clearly go from a casual outfit to a formal one. Now for the final one, I went for another full on plisse fit. I'm wearing this beautiful on plisse printed shirt with a black on plisse cardigan to tone it all down. This is actually my favorite outfit because everything just fits so good together. 
it just looks like this is how the brand would style their clothes. And I actually look like one of their sales associates from their stores. That's all. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and learned a thing or two. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, this is my first video here, so I really need all your help and support. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below your thoughts, and I'll try to make more content like this. Um, if you have any suggestions, please do let me know. And yeah, thank you guys and stay safe.